Satan is furious. And by the way, the second half of the seven years of the Great Tribulation, the second half, Satan will, will be given full power to do what he wants. You better not be when that time comes. <laughs> you see, all these people that, that are worshipping Satan, there are satanic whatever places they go to and worship. In America there are. They want to implement them everywhere. And they are coming out now and they're saying, literally they're saying in the open, with no shame, with no reservations, yes, we worship Satan. Satan is our God. You see, these people are so lost, are so lost, are so lost, are so deceived, so blinded, so poisoned by the enemy, they have no idea what Satan will do to them in the end. Oh my, 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 my goodness. And by the way, Satan exists. He is the ugliest thing you could ever come across. Real ugly. When he comes, electricity goes through your body. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. So some little kids on the world's platform say there is no God, say there is nothing. Listen, mate, you're talking to Bishop Murray here, hey? Grow up. And both world leaders and church leaders, you need to grow up as well and behave like men, not like kids. Behave like men, real men. We're missing real men in high places. We see little kids holding high places. You know, when you look at a kid, what do they do? They do nothing but destruction. What do you expect from a little kid? They play in the mud, break this, drop this, wreck this. That's what's exactly happening in the world. Kids playing in the mud. When Jesus Christ, open your eyes, you'll see everything extremely clear.